the church where Michelangelo and Galileo are buried. We are in Florence. We are going to be exploring all kinds of places in the city. The first stop is the Uffizi Gallery. They automatically disable my camera in certain places. They did it at the Van Gogh Museum. So what I do is whenever they do that, I turn off my phone, make it so that it can't access the internet, and I take pictures, <laughs> as many pictures as I can. I have never had gelato and we are in Italy so this is the place to have it so that's what before Greg well Greg's gonna get his cigar but I'm gonna get some gelato so that's where we're headed and squirrel so Greg has cookies and peanuts surprised him and mine is vanilla and coffee mmm it's really good I'm gonna get a cigar All right. <coughs> oh dear. Ugh. I shouldn't be walking behind Greg, but I don't like smoke. We're actually heading towards the very popular dome known in Florence. This dome is apparently what was the start of the Renaissance. That's where we're headed. We're headed to the Leonardo da Vinci Museum, where there's all his like inventions and stuff. Looking forward to that. This is not my strong suit. Puzzles. Gotta be good at this. the I might butcher this it's the Basilica de Santa Croce pretty much it is the church where Michelangelo and Galileo are buried this church right here so we're gonna see if we can get some tickets to go inside and see the two tombs all right dress code approved So we just saw the um, tomb of Michelangelo and Galileo and the tomb of Michelangelo was really cool because the symbolism of it, there were three statues. The one on the left was a symbol for painting, the one in the middle was a symbol for sculpture, and the one on the right was a symbol for architecture. These statues are representations of the arts, mourning the loss of Michelangelo. And I thought that was pretty cool. Another interesting thing about Michelangelo's body is that he died in uh, Rome and the Pope ordered him to be buried in Rome, but the Florentines, people from Florence, stole his body uh, because Michelangelo was originally from Florence. So they stole his body and they buried him here. And that's kind of ironic because Michelangelo didn't want to be buried in Florence. He wanted to be buried in Rome. so. I guess you couldn't do anything about that. We are now at the museum where the famous David statue is. So right now Greg is getting our voucher and I booked this in advance. You have to book in advance um, if you don't want to wait hours and hours in line. So that's where we are right now. Seeing the David statue was an absolute amazing experience and it was definitely not what we were expecting. The coolest thing about it is this statue is really, really big and it's actually on top of this pedestal. You can look at the statue and appreciate the masterpiece that it really is without 
seen it behind lots of people's heads. The amount of detail that Michelangelo sculpted blew my mind and personally, I feel it is the perfect representation of what a man should be. It shows strength, character, protection, vitality. Before you approach the statue, you see other statues from Michelangelo. Like these statues were practice to create the David statue. If you find yourself in Florence, go see the statue. I cannot recommend it enough. He's saying something. He's, he's trying to sell his bracelets by asking for the time. Oh. <laughs> it's like, no, thank you. He's like, I don't have time. No time, no problem. You want data? You want the time? Here's my bracelet. Mm -hmm.